What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a really strong team to push high tier and master tier before Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet comes out. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. And also, click that subscribe button because... Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet comes out very soon, and I'm planning on doing a lot of different content for that. So if you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys get on top of that. But like I said, this team right here is going to be really, really strong, and it's going to help you guys push Master Tier one last time before the brand new games come out. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it, and hopefully you grab some wins with it. But let's get started here in the top left corner for today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Grimstar. If you guys have been watching my Pokemon Sword and Shield content, you guys know this Grimstar setup right here is one of my favorites of all time. It's got Pranksir, it's got the Light Clay as an item, and then Shocking Egg, awesome move setup. Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, and Scary Face for Speed Drop. Second Pokemon is going to be Rollaboom over here. It's got the Grassy Surge. It's got the Assault Vest so it can soak up some special attacking shots. Then it's got Grassy Glide for first turn priority. Fake Out for those flinches. Knock off the takeoff items. And then it's got U-Turn to pivot out. Middle left is going to be the normal Incineroar build. I'm not even going to say anything about it. If you guys want to check it out, it's right on the screen. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be the main man Blastoids over here, and I love using Blastoids. Series 13, you did not get to see any of Blastoids, so I'm glad the, the Series 12 rules are back and we're seeing more Blastoids. It's got Torrent and the Wakanberry as an item, Hydro Cannon, Icy Wind for Speed Control, Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, and Helping Hand to make ally Pokemon do a little bit more damage. Bottom left hand corner is going to be one of the best restricted Pokemon in the game. It is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex. It has the As One ability, alongside with the Focus Sash as its item. Astro Barrage, will o to burn physical attackers, Psy Shock for another stab move, and Protect for its final move. Last Pokemon on today's team is going to be Zacian. Zacian, you cannot go wrong with them. It's got Interpret Sword, it's got Rusted Sword, Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Substitute, because it is the Substitute move set, and then Protect for its final move. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, another code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder, look to get some wins with this, with this Master Ball tier Series 14 team. First match coming at you guys. We are going up against a pretty cool team right here. He's rocking Zamazetta, Venusaur, and the Groudon combo. Then he also got Thunderous, Urshifu, and Incineroar coming out over here. And these Pokemon are really, really good. And this team, I've been seeing a lot on the rank ladder. So if we can get started here, grab ourselves a win and roll out strong and battle number one. But how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I feel like Groudon and Venusaur for him is a potential lead. And it could be a very strong lead. So, mm, I'm trying to think of ways I can go around. He could lead the both to Groudon and Venusaur. He could also lead to Incineroar. I feel like we have to lead like Pokemon like Incineroar. Could be really strong for us. We could roll out pretty strong with it. We can kind of get after the battle that way. So, I'm going to lead Incineroar. And I might end up leading a Pokemon like maybe Calyrex. Because Calyrex can be very strong all around. I like Calyrex. So do I go Calyrex or do I maybe go like a Pokemon like Zacian or something like that? I think I'm going to go Calyrex. And then I'm going to bring Zacian in the back end. And then last but not least... I'm kind of leaning towards this Rillaboom at, at the same time. I'm kind of not. Might even go Blastoids. Might even go Blastoids. Well, I'm going to need a Pokemon Dynamax. So Blastoids might be that guy. So yeah, I'm going to go Blastoids in the back end. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I wonder who he's going to lead. I definitely am going to wonder who he's going to lead. But yeah, question of the day. We got a banger, so you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below. It is, what are your thoughts on the starter's final evolutions in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? If you guys checked out the leaks, the starter evolutions have been leaked. And I'm a big fan of them. I really do like them. They're definitely going to grow on me. But the fire one, Flaycoco, oh, dude, I'm loving it. I'm definitely picking him. He's looking really dope. So let me know your guys' uh, answers in the comment section down below. He's going to end up going into Incineroar alongside with Urshifu, and that ain't too bad. He's probably going to uh, try to rock it with a Sucker Punch. Um, hmm. Could fake it out, turn one. I could definitely fake it out. Who's Intimidate's going to go out first? I'll play mine. Mine does. So my fake out will actually come out here first, which is pretty good. So he can still Sucker Punch me. Uh, I think I just still go for a straight fake out. He's going to Intimidate me, and... I'm going to go into, like, a Psy Shock. I could fake him out. He could detect here, too. He could definitely detect. I mean, I could fake out the Incineroar. I could go here, and I just could go into Nashville Barrage. I could actually Will O' Wisp, uh... There's food. Or I can swap him. I could swap the Calyx here for later. Maybe bring in the Blastoise at this point. Hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards that. Swap the Calyx have for later. But then I might want to change my move, because I feel like he's, uh... I feel like he's got to be, like, detecting or something like that. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna swap and I'm gonna fake out the Incineroar. I'm gonna go and go into the Blast Suits at this point. He's gotta detect or something right on the Urshifu. Let's see how this one plays out here. So I'm gonna swap into the Blastoids. The tech does come out from the Urshifu, so we make a great read there. We get a free swap. And I get the fake out, or I get the party shot. I went for the party shot instead of fake out, which I think is a great call. So I get to swap out here. I feel like, what could the Incineroar be doing? Could be going for a parting shot. Could definitely be doing that, but I can bring out this Ascian at this point. I'm kinda hoping he's going for like a Flare Blitz or something into my Calyrex slot. Right? Would be good. Let's see what he does. Because he could be trying to take off Focus Sash. Let's see what he does here. Goes for Darkest Slayer. Probably into that Blast Weight slot, which I think I'm still going to die to Max. I don't think it's going to do too much damage here. Yeah, it's Easy Soaks. That is Easy Soaks all day. Okay, so from here, I could Sacred Sword, which I think I'm going to do. Just right into the Earth Fruit slot. Then I'm just going to Dynamax the Blast Weights. I think this is a safe play. Go into a Canyon Aid. Like, even if he swaps in Cinemore, which I think he might swap into, like, the Groudon or the Venusaur. Even if he swaps it, we still can do some big damage, or not big damage, we can still do decent damage, but set up the Canyon Aid stuff, which I really like. So I'm going to Dynamax, I'm going to pop into the Sacred Sword. I feel like we could be thriving from here. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I actually could have, I could have set up a sub here. I could have set up a sub. Why didn't I set up a sub? Actually, he can't protect, so we'll think about maybe setting up a sub later. But we know he has Sucker Punch, right? He's got to have Sucker Punch. He's going to withdraw the Incineroar. You gonna go into? You gonna go into Zamazetta? I'm cool with him going into Zamazetta. I don't mind that. I really don't mind him going into Zamazetta there. Maybe he thinks I'm going into a Zacian shot there. I'm Dynamaxing. I'm getting right after it. So not a bad first turn by us. We played a great swap. We made a great call of him going into his attack. I'm playing things pretty good right now. We are playing things pretty good. So let's get Blastoids out and about here. Get rolling out strong. And we'll get pushing. So we're at 290 HP. That, that ain't too bad. I can take it all day. Sacred Sword's gonna fire. Chip up some good damage. Hopefully this thing's not sashed. And it is sashed. Of course it's sashed. We love when it's sashed. We love when it's sashed. But the Canyon A damage is going to take it out. Close combat's gonna fly. We're able to soak pretty well. Thanks to the Intimidate. And then Canyon A will take him out. And we can do a decent amount of damage overall. This guy right here. So he's going to be forced to bring back out the Incineroar, and at that point, I'm just going to hard swap into my Incineroar and save my Zacian for later. I feel like that's a solid turn from us. I think I like that turn. Right, he's definitely going to be bringing in the... He's got to be bringing in the Incineroar, right? For that Intimidate, and then I just swap into my Intimidate, which I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind at all, because at that point, he might even fake out my Zacian slot. But more importantly, we get off Intimidate on two physical. I like where we're sitting right now. We're making some good calls. We're making some good reads. Not doing too bad. And he's going to bring out Thunder. So I guess he's just Dynamax with Thunders. I think we just Behemoth Blade that, right? I think we just Behemoth Blade that. He's got to Dynamax his Pokemon. I'm Behemoth Blade in this slot. I might even go to a Hailstorm here. Set the Buffets. Have all chips going around. So what could Zama's had to do? Coach it up, right? And I feel like if Thunders does not take out my ass, you know, piling into him, but he might actually swap the uh he might swap the Zamazetta into the uh Incineroar. We'll see what he wants to do, but we're doubling down right into the We're doubling down right into after it. Because this is really its only Pokemon that you can really die max. So we have to start targeting down. He's gonna withdraw the Zamazetta. He goes into the Incineroar, which I don't really mind too much. I don't really mind. And we should see a Dynamax come out from here. We should see a Dynamax come out from here. Or even a Max Guard. I could definitely see me. That would be a great play if he Max Guards here. But I don't think he is. Max Guard will block both shots. And he can fake out next turn. He can kind of roll out. But my problem with swapping into Incineroar at this point is he is Defiant. And he get that plus two boost. Alright. Alright, Jeans. Alright. Again, I would love to get off this turn right here. Get off a big old Hailstorm. Get the Buffets rolling alongside with the Candy Nade damage. And then get off this double that double shot. And that's exactly what we're doing here. And I wonder who he's taking out. I really do wonder. We do have the Wakamberry, which is great. Which is great. So I kind of hope he goes after Blastoids with that move. But solid damage right there. We go half health with Behemoth Blade. And then he's going to drop an Airstream. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. So he Airstreams into me. He's going to take speed. we able to eat up pretty well. And I think he predicted the Wakamberry. I mean, that's Blastoids' like, favorite item in Sword and Shield. 
But we're also hail swimming on top of this. And he's gonna take life with me. We got some big damage coming here. I think we take him out, right? With a combination of everything. We might just take him out straight with the move. Let's see. We don't take him out, but again, Canyon and Buffets are flying. That's gonna take him out, no problem. And then I have another turn with my Blastoids, which is beautiful, which is lovely. And I could just protect my uh I could just protect my uh Zastion at this point. Or I feel like hard swapping into Incineroar is probably your best play. Give them the minus attack drops and just play it slow. So, yo, what a first battle by us. We're, dude, I'm getting better and better at this game every time I play it. I feel like I feel like this battle was so good for us. I think we just played it really well. I played our opponent, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Yeah, our opponent's playing solid, though. I really like how our opponent's playing, but at the same time, we're just making moves. We're just making good moves and just out reading them. So our opponent's not playing bad. I actually think our opponent's playing really good. But again, we're just making some really good moves that it's just we're just making out plays right now. But I'm gonna swap it to Incineroar, pop that intimidate, and then I'm just gonna just gonna G Max Candy right into the Incineroar slot. But I can definitely see our opponent just cancel the battle from here, right? Pretty much GG's, correct? Right? Oh, this might be a sweep. This might be a sweep from Jeans. It can be. Most definitely can be. But Incineroar doesn't have Protect, so I think Incineroar just dies out here, right? Correct? Makes the most sense. But yeah, we started off this game with a little tough uh, tough lead. But we made a great read with the Detect and having to swap into the Blastoids, all that good stuff. And we were just rolled out strong after that. Playing some good swaps with Incineroar. Getting after it that way. Just outplaying at this point. Let's see what he's going to do. He's just going to go for Behemoth Bash. Um, this should... We should eat this up, right? Correct? Even though it is double damage, we should eat this up. It's going to be not very effective. And he's intimidated. Yeah, we soak. But I don't think Incineroar can take me out, correct? Dark Slayer, I don't think it takes me out. Yeah, cool. Dope, awesome. Dope, awesome. Kenny is going to fly. We're going to take out Incineroar. And I might even swap my Blastoids to try to try to get the sweep. It is, it is possible. It is possible. Or I can fake out and look for some damage here. Sometimes I'm just going to get buffed it. It's gonna get canyonate it. And if I just fake out here, we win this game. Even if he protects, he dies. Actually, the, the next canyonate turn might not go through. I don't know. I, just, I think there's one more turn left in canyonate. But, but, it might end. It might end. Okay. So, from here, fake out. And then we just go into a hydro cannon because hydro cannon looks sick. Because <laughs> it looks amazing. But if he stays in and tries to kill my Blastoids, I want the sweep, so... Alright, that's gonna give us a sweep right there. I want the sweep. Give me a little bit of Hydro Cannon action for the win. Hydro Cannon comes out here, and let's go, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful sweep in battle number one. Outplaying an opponent, and just playing a great battle all around. Second match coming at you guys, going up against... Isn't this a team that I showcased on my channel? I think it is. The Zygarde and Kyogre team with Urshifu, Kartana, Whimsicott, and Confi. Okay, so he has a lot of speed control with that Whimsicott. He could definitely lead it and kind of roll out from there. I could lead the Rillaboom. I feel like I definitely have to bring the Rillaboom for Kyogre purposes. And we can fake out with it too. So I might just lead the Rillaboom and kind of roll out from there. Might be our best play. Might be our best play. So yeah, let's go Rillaboom here. And I say we lead it straight with the Blastoids. Maybe just Dynamax the Blastoids. Get straight after it. Cause we do have ice moves for that side guard, all that good stuff too. Just gotta watch out for that lovely little Cartana. But we'll bring Zacian in the back end, and then I just think Calyrex to get some work done. So I'm all about going in with Cali Cali. Let's go Cali Cali. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to go back to back here in battle number two. But something I just realized at the end of the first battle was I think we versed another YouTuber, DK Trading. I think it was him. The name said DK Trading YT. I think it is his YouTube channel. I used a couple of teams in the past. So if that was you, DK, and you're checking out my videos, huge shout out to you, man. GG's in that match. But uh, if not, then whoever it was, GG's. <laughs> whoever it was, GG's. But second battle, looking to go back to back here. Let's roll out strong. Let's roll out strong. But yeah, now we're versing just Matt. Matt over here. What's good, Matt? What's a good dog? <laughs> I wonder if he's going to lead. It's got to be Whimsicott something, right? I'm hoping he kind of leads his aggro because then I can just Dynamax and Blastoids. It's going to be... Oh, oh, oh. We, oh, we don't like Kartana. Kartana, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Kartana's going to Dynamax. Kartana is indeed indubitably going to Dynamax. So I might just U-turn. Oh, I was going to bring Incineroar just... For this purpose but yeah i don't like this game right now 
I don't like this game at one bit. He just this lead is awful for us. I'm trying to find ways around it. Hmm. This is no good. These Dynamax and is probably helping handing the same time. Um I guess we'll U-turn out. I think we're gonna U-turn and we might have to hard swap you. I think that's our best bet. I, I don't know. I I, 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 I I don't know what to do. <laughs> but we're hard swap. This lead sucks for us. He's gotta be Dynamax and Cartana, right? He's gotta be Dynamax and Cartana. And comfy has gotta be like helping handy or something. Yeah, there's Dynamax from Cartana. Oh, art. I see. You. Yeah, dude, this one was tough all around. Now, the problem with this is going to be. The big problem with this is. He's gonna bring us out of Focus Ash and then he can just try as us. Ah, which I do not like. Try as hurts. Is that person? Is he helping handy here? He's gonna ally switch. Ah, I don't mind the ally switch. We're just kind of just like swapping turns here. But now we know he has Alice, which surprised he didn't go for like a helping hand or something like that. He's gonna airstream right into my really and really eats. The speed is back on his side. Kind of sucks. Kind of don't like this game. And do we think he Alice switches here again? What are the chances he Alice switches again? We still have our sash though, which is really good. Which is really, really good. I'm just pivoting out here. Um, hmm, gotta bring his ass in, right? It's an absolute ass. It's ass. An absolute must to bring in Zass. So they bring in Zassian. Uh, I don't think we got speed, which kind of stinks. But we got to go after that Cartana, right? Cartana's got to go. Cartana's got to go. And Sacred Sword would do more damage than Behemoth Play. Because Behemoth Play is going to be not very effective. It's going to do half and then double. So it's going to be at 100. And then we're going to stay at 80. I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna pop an Astro Barrage. I don't think he Alice Switch again. I really don't think he doubles down on the Alice Switch move. Gotta have a lot of Moxie to double down on the Alice Switch. Hmm. Alice Switch is just a mind games. He plays mind games with you. Once they pop your Roach, you're always thinking, are they gonna Alice Switch again? What are they doing? Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, this battle's tough. We already dug ourselves a hole. And he does do it again. Oh my. <laughs> Hate this game. Alright, we're fine. We're chilling. He has Moxie. This dude has Moxie. You're gonna steal spike me. Granite defense boost, which is smart play. Should be able to eat that up though. Which is beautiful, but it kinda sucks that he outspeeds us. You know likey. I could have set up a sub. A sub could have been real nice. Defense boost coming in hot. Astrobosh flying. Doing some nice damage. And Zassian should be able to take out Confi, right? We do not. Oh. Well, we know Astrobosh can. Do we think he's going to do it for a third time? I mean, even if he does, I mean, what do we do? I think we just protect the ass here. Do we protect the ass? I am going to protect the ass here. I'm just going to go straight for the ass. I'm going to try to keep my ass alive for another turn. I still have my Dynamax. We're saving it for Blastoise, but one, if I can get Cartana off the field, I think we can do pretty good. Let's see what he does. He goes for a Floral Healing. How dare you? How dare you? So if Floral Heals up, he's going to go back up to almost full HP. Almost full HP. He goes for another Steel Spike. Please be into Zassian. Thank you. So we're able to survive another turn. We're going to be able to take out Comfy here, which is really big. The reason that's really big is he's going to take out his Support Mon. And second of all, we get that attack boost for us. Or special attack boost from the Calyx. And I saw my focus dash, which is great. Which is beautiful, which is lovely. Alright, so Grimnade is going to get boosted. We might be able to eat up a shot from Cartana now. Now that Dynamax is gone. And we have a look. Ah, uh, no, I don't know. That's looking tough. We could hard swap. But I feel like I have to save my Rillaboom for. For all what's called. Just an outside Grim. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. I got to save my roll boom in case he has Kai over in the back end. But from here, we know that Astral Raj will take out Cartana. We still have Focus Ash. I feel like we just double down right into Zygar, right? I think that's got to be a play. Let's do it. 
Maybe we should have double down into Zygarde. Astrobosh plus one should be able to take out Kartana. Kind of a, a, a lightweight Pokemon. Doesn't have too much HP stat. But what a terrible lead for us, but we're, we're doing pretty good with it. The swaps were nice. Our Billaboom's low HP, but if we can get it back out in the terrain, we can have Fake Out. We can have a bunch of other things used. He's going to protect Zygarde. Uh, I mean, that's a fine turn. And you think he goes for Zassian take out, right? He smart strikes us. Yo, that move looks so dope. And we survive. That's a big time survive. That's a big time survive. But yo, that move's hilarious because it just it, you just see the target on the duty's attack and it just does a target and it makes a beat. It just takes him out. But Astrobaj is going to take out that Kartana. And I think we're sitting in a really, really good position now. Dude, our leads have been awful today, but we've been just like coming out on top. We've been doing so good with the swaps and everything. I'm very proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. Cannot wait for Scarlet and Violet. I'm telling you guys, I'm pushing super high ranks now. I want to get really high up there in the ranks. Grind that game. I want to grind the rank. Show you guys why Gene's the best. The man. All right, goes into Urshi Ursh. Uh, he hits her protect, so I'm just going to do this. And I'm just going to pop, pop another Astro Barrage. A plus two. I outspeed all these guys. And I think that's pretty much GG's. Unless this thing's Rocket Sucker Punch, he would go after my Sassian at this point. Let's see. Urshi for protect. Fine, that's cool. Fine, that's cool. Astrobaj, can you take out the Zygarde? Zygarde is a little beefy. And I think his shiny looks amazing, but we're plus two. We're plus two with stab. Make it happen? We do not, but again, we still have focus ash, which is good. He's going for a thousand arrows, isn't he? Yeah. Thousand arrows come out. Bows on arrows. Critical hit on my Sash. And on my Sash anymore. So if he is Rocket Sucker Punch, he could take me out no problem. But I feel like this is just a... I still have a Dynamax. I could go into my Dynamax. But I feel like we just go into... Uh, I think we go back into Robin, bring the grassy terrain back out. Oh, and this thing... Oh, it gets the Power Construct going. It gets the Power Construct. I'm not even worried, though. That is sick, though. The Power Construct. I think that ability is amazing. Look at it, dude. That shiny form so dope. It's so dope. It's so dope. I think it's one of the coolest shinies ever. But I think like I just bring out Robin here. Zygarde. Did Zygarde protect last turn? No, Urshifu protected last turn. So if I could just fake out the uh, Urshifu, it can't go for a Sucker Punch, and we just say GG's by dropping Astro Brash. It's a good thing I kept my Rillaboom. I think I kept this Rillaboom all day. We almost had another sweep. We almost had another sweep, but I still have my Dynamax if I need it, but I don't think I need it. I'd rather try to win the battle without Dynamax. But I feel like the only way he wins this is if he lands the attack, right? It makes the most sense. He might protect the side guard. And I feel I feel like that's what he's gonna try to do, is just go for a quick double protect. It's his only shot at winning. It legit is his only shot at winning. Side guard protects. Is he going for the double? Is he going for the double here? He doesn't even go for the double. Okay, so we take out Izershifu here. And then side guard's dead next turn. That guard is dead next turn, yo. Calyrex, getting the kill, stacking. It's just, it's a snowball effect with this Pokemon. It's too good. Way too strong. Oh, no. Don't tell me he survives. Don't you tell me he survives. Don't you tell me he survives. All right, Roboom. Looks like you're going for Grass God. Don't you tell me he survived that. Get out my face. <laughs> Get out my face. All right, we'll go for Grass God here. Let's just protect you. We'll play it slow now. Now we have to play it slow. Now we will play it slow. I protect my Calyrex. No protect from the Urshifu, please. He's got to be going for a Sucker Punch, right? Yeah, there's Sucker Punch. It fails. Grass Glide flying. Well, so see you later, Urshifu. He's going to drop another Thousand Arrows. And yeah, we, we, we're we fine here. We're fine. We're just outplaying our opponents. I feel like we're just really outplaying our opponents like hard today. Like, making the right calls, making the right swaps, making the right protects. Everything all around has been perfect. Our game is S-tier right now. It is S-tier. But from here, I'm just going to grass glide again. I'm just going to pop a nice little Astro Barrage. Mwah. It's going to be a beautiful second battle. We're going to guarantee ourselves a winning record. And like I said, this team right here is perfect for pushing Master tier. It's so strong all around, and it's just it's just really, really good. Has the two strongest restricted Pokemon. Has Incineroar Real Boom. What more do you guys want for pushing Master tier? We're pushing high ranks of Master Tier. I'm actually close to Master Tier right now. I haven't officially hit it yet, considering I didn't really play Series 13, so I was rank 8 or 9. I forget what they put me at. But yeah, we're, we're, we're almost back at it. We're almost back at it. Considering I don't really play this game off screen anymore, 
I kind of just use it to record YouTube channels or YouTube videos. So we play about three battles a day over here. He's going to protect for, I don't know why. I don't know why. I guess he just wants to hang out with jeans a little bit longer. I would do the same thing. I would do the exact same thing. <laughs> I would want to hang out with jeans a lot longer. But he blocks the protect. And guess what we're going to do, guys? We're going to do the exact same thing. And yo, look at my Calyx. I'm going to get close to full HP. And close to full HP. I guess he won a little bit more HP back, but you're not surviving, man. You were goner. You're gone. I'm actually almost out of Astral Blast. Wild. Actually, wild. <laughs> I was out of him. It's kind of funny. But Grass Guide flies through, puts it at half health. My boy Calyrex says, See you later, Zygarde. Get on out of here. We go 2 0. Let's hop to our third and final battle. Look for a perfect record for today's video. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And I'm a little scared of this guy right here. This guy is rocking Zapdos and Kyogre. Zapdos and Kyogre is an insane combo. I wouldn't say it's a combo, but they're just two very strong Pokemon that just get some work done, especially Zapdos. And I don't know how I'm going to counter Zapdos. I really don't know how. I'm kind of looking at that and trying to figure it out. But I have a plan right here. I'm going to lead my boy, the one and only Grimmsnarl. Support Grimmsnarl. Try to get the screens up. Try to get rolling from there. We could bring Robin to kind of counter up onto that... Uh, Onto that, what is that even Pokemon called? That Kyogre. But Zapdos counters that, which is a problem. It's just a problem all around. He has competitive Milotic, so we gotta watch out for the Intimidates. So I might just go in the Calyrex. I go Calyrex here, bring Roboom in the back end, and then last but not least, gotta bring my boy Zassian, right? Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here and a perfect record in battle number three. But yeah, this one's gonna be tough, yo. I I, I never battled too well up against Zapdos. I feel like Zapdos is just incredibly strong and gets worked. Especially in Dynamax, it's just air streams lightning. It has a life for Both throws are stabbed. Its weaknesses are relatively low. It doesn't have too many weaknesses. It just rolls out strong. But he's going to end up leading the Grimmy Grim and the Zip Zap Zip Zap Zips. And Zapdos is mainly on the special attack board, right? I recall most of them rocking Heat Wave. So, special attack move. I think we set up the Light Screen Turn 1. And I might even Dynamax Cali Cali. I might Dynamax Cali Cali here. Kind of lean towards it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up the light screen. Let's say, hey, yo, let's get after it. And I am going to do this. I'm going to go right after his Calyrex. I'm not dealing with it. I'm really not dealing with his Zapdos. I'd rather get right after his Pokemon. I'm getting right after it. I don't Dynamax Calyrex much, but I usually lose his Zapdos, so I need to change something up. We need change around here. We need change. We want change. And this is what I'm giving you guys. I'm giving you guys a little bit of change. <laughs> Change is good. Change is good. But 350 HP. Not too bad. He's got to be Dynamax Zip Zap, right? Yeah, see, I told you. I'm not dealing with this guy today. I'm not dealing with this Zapdos. That's why we're Dynamax Calyrex. And we're changing it up a little bit. And there it is. The bird. The one and only Zip Zap. Coming in for the Dynamax. I think he sets up a light screen as well. I think we get a light screen for light screen. Or he could be faking me out. But I really do think it's a light screen for light screen kind of thing. Or it could be home for a spirit break. I do not know. We'll see. Yep, it's a light screen kind of, it's a light screen for light screen kind of thing. Great minds think alike. But light screen for light screen, we're gonna drop a nice little ash splash. Give me a crit. Hurts soul. Hurts soul. <laughs> Hurts the soul. But we get a defense drop, which is pretty good. And I'm just gonna start spirit breaking into that thing while we get defense drops. That can do some good damage. Airstream's gonna fly here. That's gonna go into Cali slot and look at that soak. We're bulky, Shadow Horse. We're bulking. So we eat pretty well. Um, yeah, I think we just double down Zap this year. Then we go for the defense drop again. And we just go for a physical attacking shot into that thing. I think that's the play. We drop his defense two stages and we I'm telling you, we just gotta get rid of it. We have Will Boom in the back end to counter a good bit. We still have Zassian. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's see, he goes for a Thunder Wave. How dare you? So he goes for a Thunder Wave. I mean, you can slow me down. As long as you don't waste my turns. Actually, that kind of hurts because I think my Grimms are on speeds at this point. Ashing flies. You're going after Calyx again. Which Calyx is soaking really well. Calyx is soaking really, really well. Beautifully well. I, of course, my Calyx can't do it. I feel like RNG's never on my side. But Spirit Break comes through. Doing a good amount of damage, but more importantly, dropping that special attack. And I'm going to be paralyzed that way. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, RNG. I needed you, dude. I needed you. Um, 
Let's set up Reflect. I think we do the same thing. I think we do the same thing. Actually, let's set up the Reflect. We'll take out Zap this a little bit. I'm going to set up the Reflect here. Uh, Just for later purposes. And do I Mindstorm? Maybe into... Nah, we'll just keep the defense drops going. We'll just do that. That hurts, man. That hurts. So we set up the Reflect. We we'll use it for later, just in case Zapdos and Grimstrong kind of want to start going there from me. But we'll roll out there. Yeah, see, he's starting to target me now. So he's starting to target my Grimstrong shot. And I just didn't want to be like paralyzed and kind of get screwed over by RNG and not be able to set the Reflect. So I just feel like setting up Reflect that turn was solid. He does the same thing I did. He's going to Spirit Break me. Blah, 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 blah. This is getting annoying. But I'll take that all day. I think my Pokemon can outplay his Pokemon. But Dynamax is after this was just a problem. So doing that actually just canceled out everything, which I'm, I'm a big fan. But he is paralyzed on my Pokemon, which kind of suck. But we'll, we'll work around it. We shall work around it. So a Spirit Break, I think, should take out the Zapdos next shot. Unless he sets up a Reflect. But not too sure, not too sure. I think I'll just throw a Burn onto that thing at this point. So we'll Spirit Break. I'm going to go for will o -Wisp, and I'm going to Burn onto the Grimgrim. -Grim. Give him a little bit of Burn action. Just a little bit of Burn. Might as well let Calyrex do a little bit while he's doing stuff. And no, no, you got Roost. You got Roost. You're Roost boosting. He's Roost Boosting. That hurts soul, man. So another Spirit Break takes us out. I mean, I know one of my Pokemon are going to be paralyzed this turn. But Lewis comes out here. We land it. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely. And that means Grimstarl is going to miss this turn. This hurts. I have an odd feeling. I don't know why. No, he doesn't. Good work, Grimstarl. Spirit Break flying through. This needs minus two on defense. We're doing some nice chunks. We think he's going to Roost Boost again? He could definitely Roost Boost. Could definitely Roost Boost. Could slow him down here. i go for another Spirit Break. Hmm. I guess we'll go for Spirit Break Astro Barrage. Just have to reflect. And he's Roost Boost. I know he's going for Come on, man. Come on. Don't, 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 don't do this to me. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Let's just battle. Let's just have some fun. Let's stop Roost Boost in here. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Give me, give me a crit here. Give me a crit. Come on. Crit this. That's not what I wanted. Definitely not what I wanted. Spirit Break flying here. He's just going to keep Roost boosting. Special attack's low. Oh, we could scary face it. But I feel like it's just free swap time, right? I mean, he's going to take us out. Or he's going to go for a Spirit Break. I think we could swap in there. Somebody maybe like Rillaboom? We're going to Sassian. Problem, my problem is the static, man. Look at these paralyzers. Can you just take out my Pokemon, please? You know, I'll try, why, why haven't I thought of going after Grimstone yet? I'm going to burn this Zapdos. I'm going to burn him. He's going to roost again. Why, why haven't I thought of just going just going after Grimstone? He's minus two, and this is a super effective shot. I'm too focused on the Zapdos right now. Way too focused on the Zapdos. Way too focused. Cool. Kyler goes down here. I'm fine with that. He gets a crit? What is this? <laughs> I'm asking for crits, and I don't get it. He gets paralyzed in crits. He gets it all. I'm paralyzed. Okay, Dude, bro. I don't like this game. Not one bit. Not one bit. All right. Let's do it. We have Rillaboom, and we have Zassian. Got to bring out my man Pots of Pan, Zassian. Grimstone can land a Spirit Break to pick up a KO. It doesn't look too hot for him right now. <laughs> it does not look too hot for him. I think it's I think static's like 30%, so I'm gonna take my chances with the static. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get after Zap this year. Let's set up a sub, but I'm getting after Zap. I'm gonna take my chances. He withdraws at this. He going into from here. Fine with popping a Kyogre with this. With no static. I like that. So if he goes into Kyogre, he could start scary facing me. Which I think he, he might want to start doing. Oh, he's just gonna Thunder Wave me. I forgot he had Thunder Wave. Uh, hurt soul. Oh my god, bro. I hate this game. I don't like it. I don't like it. Can't KO so we don't get swept? Thank you. Oh my god, yo. Paralyzes on paralyzes on paralyzes, and I can't move. I can't move. I think this is over, right? GG in a can. 
He throws out his final Pokemon. We do have Rillaboom, but it's asking the Kyogre. Ah. Uh, he got speed team all day. Unless, hold up. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Jeans has an idea. It might be a rather good idea. Gary face into Kyogre. We outspeed, and then we go for a Secret Sword. Sounds rather nice. Sounds rather decent. Scary face comes out and we land it. Thank you. Thank you, no paralyzes. Beautiful. So we scary face this thing. Zassian is now faster. Zassian's gonna go into my Zassian, correct? I would think he would double down to my Zassian, right? Correct, makes more sense. Yeah. And we eat. Make you reflect. And now we go for the lovely secret sword. Built. Nope. Doing some nice damage. And he goes for a water spout, which you should be able to eat, Zassian, right? Light screen's out and about. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Light screens are off. Go for scary face and you. Then we just sicker sword again into Kyogre. Best bet. We gotta get off as much damage as Kyogre. Actually, I shouldn't have worried about the Kyogre. I don't know what I'm doing. Going back in this app, though. Come on now, buddy. Come on now. Gonna be that guy. He still doesn't know we have what's called, though. He still doesn't know that we have Robum in the back end, but this is just not looking good, right? Not look good one bit. He still outspeeds me, her soul, and that's about it. Yeah, GG's. GG. So we don't get swept in battle number three, but RNG does this a little bit dirty. I feel like we would have lost that battle regardless. But paralyzed everything, just going crazy on us. We throw out Robum here. He has the uh, the bird who's going to outspeed us. He can land hurricanes. He can do it all. It's just, it's just game over. I mean, we can fake out and try to make something happen, but... Yeah, no shot. If we fake out the Zapdos, then his Behemoth Blade just takes out my Grimstar. It's, it's just not happening. And the next turn, he just Hurricanes. So I would just be prolonging our death and our loss. But not a bad set of battles for today. 2 and 1, we played amazing in the first two battles. Third battle, RNG did us a little bad, but hey, I think our opponent was winning regardless. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Showcase this team to its fullest potential and grab ourselves a winning record with it. If you guys want to push Master Tier or try to push High Ranks Master Tier, I definitely recommend renting this team for the last series before Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet comes out. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.